just for my YouTube, he's a fan of mine. I sure appreciate it. What's that. up, guys? How y'all doing? Hey. Uh, is it illegal for us to film right here? Yeah, since this is private property. those cavities sir do you like candy yes. okay I can tell because you got cavities but it's okay because they're your baby teeth and uh, we're gonna take care of business today over here at San Pedro smiles you know what I'm saying we got the doc in the house dr. Justin Gonzalez my homie my brother he's good people man your fan at the front desk can't wait to see him it's like I missed him I don't like to see him Cause it's always on bad terms. <laughs> Let's go. I've been better. Nice no, kidding. I'm doing good. Last night, my big bear's teeth were. Hurting? Yeah. It, it, he told me about a week ago, and then I meant to call Doc and schedule an appointment, but then, literally last night, so I went to uh, HEP at like 9:30, and I hate leaving at night because just idiots out at night, you know. But I jump in the car. I haul ass, get him some more gel. He's never had it in his life. And he's laying there, you know, he wasn't crying. <laughs> but he was just holding his tooth real bad, he was in pain. We tried salt water, peroxide, yeah. anything that we yeah. could try to keep it clean. But uh, it's, it's okay. bad up in there. Yeah. It's actually the same on both sides. It's like these are his two sides, but only one side was hurting him. But when you look up in there, in his mouth, it's almost like parallel to the teeth. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Sit by your old man for a little bit. Are you shy right now? Like that shirt? Hey guys. What's up, Doc? How's it going? Another day, man. How you doing? Good. This guy's hurting. I like your hair, man. That's not bad. I brought you a shirt, man. You're large. Yeah. I got you a large shirt in the car. It's your Stax Army shirt. You're part of the Stax Army. There you go. See, well, I just go. joined. I've just been enlisted. Let's go. Let's see how old is he now? Nine. And if you look at his very front tooth, Doc, I just saw this last night. He has his baby tooth still in his gums with his other tooth growing under it. Okay. Open your mouth, buddy. Yeah, that's gotta come out. That's loose. Right. It's very loose. He won't let Dad mess with it, though. Well, you take it out. He messes with it and... He's pulled a lot of his teeth out, but that one, he is just like, no. I told him it needed to come out, though, because it's going to make the other one grow funny. That's the idea, yeah. Is it down there, is it hurting him, his bottom ones? No, the top ones. Look the at top the, one? Yes, the top left side, right, bud? Show me what side oh, with your yeah. hand. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. And then if you look at the right side, Doc, it's yeah. the same. Yeah, he's falling apart on us. Is that what's going on in there? <laughs> he brushes though every morning and every night. I mean, dad don't let him have too much candy. You brush your teeth, right? Let me see, I'm big like crocodile. I never knew something would get me so mad so quick until I saw him last night in pain. And there wasn't anything I could do. I just couldn't Frustrated, hold. yeah. Open real big. Uh, so let me do this. I'm gonna give you an antibiotic. Okay. Um, it's gonna take, take it down so it doesn't hurt anymore. But I'm gonna give you they can give them some sleepy juice. Okay. Uh, sedate them a little bit so they can get all these taken care of. Okay, and they would pull those out? Um, let him decide if you can save them or not. A couple of them, he's got to be, two of them are, are, are um, two of the upper ones are the um, are the molars that he needs to keep till he's about 11, 12. I mean, if he, want, if he thinks he needs to take them out, put spacers, they'll do that also. As far as filling, maybe a filling? Yeah, so they'll, they'll talk to you about pulpotomies and stainless steel crowns or extractions. Okay. But, but at least while they do it, he'll be sedated. I don't want to create dental phobia. I don't want him to be your age and be scared to death to go to the dentist. Of course. So can I get in there and take out those teeth? He yeah. Was, he was asking me questions about the teeth. Dad, but, but is free. anything going to hurt today? No, I'm not going to. And that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to hurt him. Of course. Him. So I think once once they do, you have to get in there and do treatment and, 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 and give him SHOTs or whatever. You just let him go to sleep. Yeah. So let we me were get, supposed let me to get, come back last night. We just 
Let me get him. Let me get him out. Thank you. She's gonna give you some uh, stuff for your teeth to like help with the uh, infection. I'm sorry. No, he doesn't. So two fifty. All right. She's gonna get. She's gonna get you some. Some. So it'll be a liquid antibiotic. You can take that. It tastes like bubble gum. And then in the meantime, we're gonna give you some information on another guy that can help him. My man. Thank you. Right, you got cool. Sorry, you're feeling bad, buddy. Where's my shirt? I got it in the car. Yeah. Oh, I'll right, give it to you back. Let's go. Doc rocking that Stax Army. Well, I hear the mean in this awesome. thing. Both largest. That's awesome. Of course. These are cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Good material, too. It's like a flex fit. Yeah, thanks. Of course you are. Do I have to give one to Dr. G? You have to give one to Dr. G. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thanks, I'll Joe. see you guys later. You're okay, welcome. Bye. Thank you. Best dentist in San Antonio, right here. San Pedro Smiles. Don't get your grill all fucked up. Get it cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? I told you, boy. <laughs> I told you, you're growing up top. I know, I feel it. You even walking different. Nah, that's my legs are sore still. Oh. <laughs> Tuesday, well, yesterday, I'm like, my legs still sore. And it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah, bro. They're, but I mean, honestly, they're it's good though. They're a little sore still, all by the teardrop though, because I was doing ass to grass, man. homie. I was doing supersets, goblin squats with regular squats, not even heavy weight though, because I got bad knees. Mm -hmm. I just did a 45 on each side. I think I did a 45 and a 25 was the max I did. So it was like 175 or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, and then I squatted that bitch for 20 though. I was about to say 20, 25. For 20 maybe. reps, all ass to grass. And I mean, I'm talking like, dude, when I was, they were like hurting and I was still like, ah! I was yeah. in crunch, screaming like a maniac. Yeah. So if you were there last Friday, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> and you saw that and you have videos of it, Please send them my way. Damn, the Jag looking sexy though. Holy shit. It's definitely. You took your style, dog. What do you mean? Yeah, bike in the inside. living room? Man. Hello, baby. What's up, bro? Let's don't get the new office. Big time. What's nah, up, this is good, Crazy. bro. Crazy. This is the one that was wrecked. Mm -hmm. No way. This was the one that they hit you in the side? Yep. Now it's perfect. I know. That's sick. Let's go. It's a little dirty. A little, a little bit. Right. You know what sucks, bro? And I was just talking about this. I just detailed the shit. What up? I just detailed the shit out of uh, the one up before I brought it here. So the mm -hmm. only thing you would see is the tar on the okay, back. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, But cool. still, it has that white dust film. Yeah, no. It sets for two days. You only get one good day. It comes to dirt. You go park it, even if it's in a garage. It's just surface dirt, bro. Bro, the paper towels where I fucked up. Yeah, microfibers only. Shit. <laughs> What'd you do? You're... No, I just did it one little shh. Yeah, see, let me like down here by the bottom. It's kind of got this little asphalt. It's like a tar, road tar. Uh -oh. And it comes right off with that stuff I told you, but you said obviously you don't use it on there, so I already fucked up and used paper towel. I didn't know I wasn't allowed to use them. Let's, uh, let's see. And that's really, oh yeah, yeah, and this right here, my bad. Mm -hmm. God, God it's hideous, <laughs> bro. I hey, I, Baby blue I, I got. I'm gonna. I want to put this bitch up for sale and get it out of my life. Hey, in real talk, we were talking about doing the bow, but you were like, that's just gonna be. I don't like, know if it's gonna. I was thinking. I was doing research. I was like, I don't know if it's gonna stick. There's a guy term. that said you can paint the bow. He said put six coats of clear on it. I think you put six coats of clear on anything. Yeah, well, that thing's gonna last. stay out there, bro. <laughs> I was thinking, damn, you can put a wrap and put six coats of fucking no, clear on that bitch, it ain't going nowhere. Nah, but uh, so I met this dude, she was pretty cool. I'm not gonna put his name on here yet because we haven't worked together. But uh, he was gonna show love and just fucking, we were gonna take all the seats out, paint, you know, get all the windows and then just fucking go over the whole boat. Yeah, like, I got a guy, I got a poster guy, I got to give you his contact. You? Yeah, but oh. I want to see how the Camaro seats come out first. Okay. This is on another note, but this is where the gasoline was, right? That spot? Yeah. So you can't really be putting gasoline on the wrap either, right? Uh, it's happened, but it, I mean, it just depends, like... Because no bullshit, that's think, the first time the I've ever got a drop on that bitch. I think the coating is what, uh... Or maybe it'll come out, let me see if it'll come out. Okay. Because, I mean, I... Well, I change I my wraps every week, so. it too. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I change my wraps every week, so I don't really... I, I don't pay attention to the <laughs> to the thing. 
I want my car yellow this week. Let's do yellow. Come on. Only thing you're really gonna get motorized is a gate that goes like this. That's cool. That could be your best bet. Oh, a single one that goes. Yeah, up? probably one, right? With but the look wheel? at their elevation difference. You know. You what I mean? come downhill though, so it shouldn't be too bad. I can't have somebody go under there, and I'm, I want to. I'm gonna get a. Of a course, that's what I was afraid. Cause over here, bro, these motherfuckers are little. And it didn't do this, but when I was before I got back, it used to open fine. But I was. I, that's why I talked to you before, cause I wanted to do something here. Yeah, yeah, okay. This here, I think this is fine. Like, what else would you do? Besides, but razor ribbon. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but you don't really need that because it's. Then they go up this wall and then climb. Yeah, this of course. They're yeah. all messed out. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're <laughs> fucking falling. So this, the, the first, first thing I, I wouldn't mind doing that. Razor You're talking ribbon. about razor wire, right? Yeah, the round the, ones, the like, round one like jail. Around, makes like a prison. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing that here on the back. Okay. This guy has no fence here. Yeah, so he's got what? Two, three, yeah. Five, yeah. Six foot, three strand razor ribbon. Yeah. One time, yeah, out front. What we want to do is boom, fix the front gate, get you a nice new opener. Yeah. Do the we want to? We don't even want to mess with the back right now. You're well, saying? I'll put the razor wire across. The razor wire. Okay, cool, cool. We'll replace this pole, fix that, attach it all back up, make it look good. Yeah. And then, man, actually, I would just take it back a little. To be honest, I don't care about this fence right here either. Like, okay. I don't care if we put new. Okay. Because somebody else is going to Well, we're that. definitely going to have to put a pole. That way we yeah. can go into right here. Yeah. We'll go off of this. You'll tear all this out. Yeah. We'll set new. And again, we're going to do commercial grade. Yeah. Nine gauge. Can all we go taller? Yeah, you should. The, the city Eight will allow that? The, yeah, you'll have to put the variance. I'm really interested in that front gate, though. I need to this one right here. So it'll probably, like we were saying, it'll probably end up being two gates. I mean, we were talking about swinging them in. You know how a button, a remote? Oh, oh yeah, a push button. You, we don't want to add all that code and shit, because then you got to get electricians out here and all that bullshit. I have them now. If you want to do all the padding and everything, you can get that, but I wouldn't do all that. i just use clickers, you know what I mean, like an opener. But if I have 20 employees, that's 20 clickers. Gee, uh, whoever's at the office. Yeah, right, put a camera on here, clear. I uh, have 16 cameras being installed next week. You just put a you just put a clicker somewhere. Somewhere where obviously it'll be able to read. Yeah, you could always come in and fucking fuck with them and break them. You know like what I mean? Ones? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean for the most part, honestly, bro, I tell everybody this offense is to keep the honest people out. Oh, yeah. You know these these keep fucking honest people honest. yeah the yeah. junkies, bro. They're gonna get in. Not when I you get my dog. Yeah, yeah, right. Get your Rottweiler and put them out here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. They'll just see him walking around. They'll be like, fuck that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going over there. <laughs> nah, this is a good spot though, man. Yeah, me and Stretch are actually looking for a shop right now. Are you? Yeah, we just honestly, I, I don't know who to talk to as far as the real estate. Like who'd I get to help me look for a buy or to rent? I'm always looking to buy, but yeah, yeah cause rent's just throwing money away, obviously. Kind of, I mean, it's bene beneficial. No, Something goes wrong, of all that course. jazz. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you There's on that. There's a lot of shops right around here, though. I'm, first off, I'd like to rent, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to get a feel for it, see what I can get. Yeah. You know, as far as how much more convenient it is to meet everybody there, keep all the tools there, you know what I mean? Game changer, though. Yeah, you got the measurements in the back, right? No problem. Yeah, well, he wants to do the razor ribbon in the back at least. 50 foot on 50 foot, that's what I was thinking. And then we're going to do a double gate here, automatic openers. Uh, that I mean, means I got to bring power to right here. Use solar. solar. You gotta do no, you just install your solar thing. I mean, obviously, you ain't got no trees, no coverage. They'll, they'll open, work. yeah, they'll open up easy. But you let me know if you hear anything on some open shops. I'll give you that quote. Send me your email so we I'll can email it. it. Yeah, thank you. Solar Army, how you doing, man? Pretty good. You still uh, following Stacks on YouTube and whatnot? There you go. Awesome.
Let's go. I had a fan message me, and it seems like his brother's not doing too good. They're both awesome guys, and uh, they've been supporting me a long time. And uh, so they wanted some shirts. We go to the hospital. We go show some love, and uh, you know, do what we do best, guys, and that's motivate, bring that positivity, make make someone's day. You know what I'm saying? Every day, do something that's selfless. You know what I'm saying? Do something for somebody else. And the more you do that, the more God will see what kind of person you are and where your heart's at. And uh, you know what I'm saying? He'll take care of you, man. It's all about the blessings. What blessings can you bring to other people just by being yourself? And uh, you know what I mean? God blesses you. This guy, I just really felt like his message. I felt like his brother, him and his brother, you know, they needed stacks, man. They needed me to come through, show love, and uh, bring a little bit of positivity into their life, man. You know, they're going through some trials and tribulations in their life right now. That's hard on everybody, you know what I mean? And uh, stacks is gonna bring a little bit of joy into their life. Let's go. That's a good feeling though, man. Just me being myself, hold up. Me being myself, showing up, bringing some t-shirts, and uh, saying what's up baby you know what i mean it's gonna make these guys happy man so it's just the little things that i feel like i can do to make a big change you know what i mean a lot of hope put a big smile on somebody's face let's go all right big dog this is what i love to do hopefully we don't get towed doing it <laughs> they're like oh got a car pulled up truck's all waiting i wish we could actually go into the hospital and say what's up to his brother but right now with all this COVID stuff, they don't make it easy for us to go in there and show love and help give my brother some hope, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, we know these antibiotics are gonna kill this infection. He's gonna come out on top. We already know. Thank y'all for making it, man. I appreciate y'all, yeah. man. Yeah. What's up, dude? How you doing? How you doing, my brother? Good, man. Pleasure, Pleasure to meet you, yeah, sir. Likewise, God bless you, man. How are you, sir? How you doing, doing, sir? That's I'm Larry, sir. Nice Pleasure, man. Awesome, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to come up and show some love, man. How's your brother doing right now? He's doing good, man. He's, He's up doing there. Uh, yeah, we just prayed for him, and they're yeah, checking his good. vitals. Everything's so far so good. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah. Good to hear. Yeah, yeah. man. It was a little scary situation when I was reading the message. I was like, man. Is this guy gonna make it? Is he gonna be okay? Man, he's, yeah. yeah, man, God willing, yeah. He's, he's been in and out. And uh, good, today good. we're just talking to the, the nurse and she said uh, he might be released on an IV because the medication they're giving him, it's a, uh, they don't have it in a pill form. So of course. he might be released in an IV. So okay, we'll shoot right to the blood though. This is yeah. getting right to the yeah. bloodstream. Mm -hmm. Man, it's cold in there. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I, need this, I need this little warmth right now. Yeah, it's cool. Man, man. it's a pleasure to you meet said you guys, Larry, man. right? Yes, sir, I'm Larry, yes, sir. What's your brother's name? Ronnie. Ronnie. Pastor Ron, yes, sir. Ronnie. Pastor Ron, too, yes, sir. pastor. Yes, sir. Really? And uh, cool. due, due to your uh, little testimony you've given, man, uh, you know, it, it hit us in the, in the corazón because, you know, we, we came from that life ourselves, man, you know, we prison life and then to see a person succeed like that that's I mean, awesome man hey i'm over so i'm overwhelmed up, man. man i like to hear people's stories and, keep and it you, up, know, man. you know you know i love that what i've been through obviously you're probably a little older than me but it still inspires you too man that's yes, awesome sir. man yeah, that's badass yes sir man appreciate the love yes, sir, man. hey i brought those shirts you yes, asked sir. for yeah god put me where i was man and he said this is where i'm gonna just give you a little time to cool off and then he put me through my last growth spurt exactly. and i just hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and honestly, that is where I learned about, you know, working out and what it did for your mind yes. and how it kind of calms your mind and calms you and you get to release all that aggression yes. and stuff out in the workout. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you're tired as hell, so you don't want to be doing anything, you know? <laughs> and then once you start getting the results and everything, man, it's really a blessing, you know what I mean? Because yes, you're like working to better in myself and life and my body, and then you start getting results in your body and in your life because you're doing these things yes. and that's why you know obviously i talk to so many people on my channel and try to just not only influence the youth right i don't want to just influence the youth exactly i want to influence my homies and my brothers that are even older exactly. like keep your head up like man. Us. yeah just, <laughs> so i'm saying though you know it doesn't matter your age or you know how young you are we want to stop the kids from making mistakes before they make them yes, but even the brothers that can't get it right maybe they'll see stacks hey you know what? This dude went to prison. This dude got his shit up. 
he got fucked over by the, you know, the system. He did it, man. Look at him, man. Look what he can do. I can work, man. And that's what I say. If I could do it, there was nothing special about me that's different than anybody else. Got that drive, that's better. No excuses, no excuses, no breaks. breaks. Yeah. (laughs) And honestly, that was my motto before I even would tell people about it on social media. I would tell myself, nah, no excuses, man. You put yourself in this situation. You wanted to go be, you know, selling drugs, and you wanted to be on the streets. Now you got to put yourself in any situation. Out of and it's not God's fault, it's the person's fault. We have our free will to do what we want. And yeah, no, most mm-hmm. definitely. And that's what I tell everybody, too. Like, God doesn't put you where you are, but God does use people that go through things, and it's the most trial and tribute, the, the ones that are the hardest that He uses to spread His word, man. The ones that have been through the most. But I've definitely been through all that. That's so. awesome, man, to see that you're, you doing, that you're here. Doing good, brother. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. Just curious, we saw you guys filming this. Uh, uh, just for my YouTube, he's a fan of mine and his yes, brothers. Sir. His brother's in the hospital right now. So I'm buying so nice shirt. I'm going to show some love. I oh, sure appreciate it. What's that. up, guys? How y'all doing? Thanks, hey. Love you. Thanks, hey. Arthur. You already know. Yeah, I just do a big YouTube thing, and I'm uh, fitness-based, and these guys follow me, and they're motivated by me, and, you know, I have this motto, no excuses, no breaks, and honestly, because they show love, I take time out of my day to come to the hospital and to meet them and show love back to them. And That's, I sure appreciate it. I mean, that's very nice yeah. of you. Yes, sir. But, uh, you know, we got our big bosses and stuff, and this is probably, I'm not trying to come down on you. I mean, you're not course. causing any harm. No, of course. But, you know, they worry about, like, HIPAA issues and privacy, even though you're just out here, you know, filming. Okay. Uh, is it illegal for us to film right here? Yeah, since this is private property. Oh, okay. Uh, so I know you guys aren't We'll wrap it up, though. No problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap appreciate it up. That. Of course. No problem, man. All right, you guys Thank have you. a good one. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate well, it. My man, yeah, we'll wrap yes, it up. We don't want to yes. cause no problems. But uh, it's awesome to see you, brother. Awesome to we'll meet you. We'll keep in touch, man. Yeah. And if you I'll want, you, I can autograph the shirt for your brother, too, That'd if you be want, nice, man. Yeah. I brought a marker, or two. Dude, yeah. Yeah, both of them be kind of you. Yeah, I got you, man. And uh, somehow just keep in touch with you through uh, Instagram, huh? Yeah, that man. Way. Instagram. So we can work out, man. Yeah, bro. And just Honestly, kind of, on a quick note, man, if you have any homies, anybody that are getting released that need a parole out, yeah. we have a, a facility called uh, uh, the Hope House. Okay. So it's for men's breaking addiction that really want to make that change, man. So keep well, us it's in on mind. the YouTube, man. So yeah, keep us in mind. that goes for anybody who's got somebody getting out that needs a place to go. The Hope House. That was cool. Even the uh, security guard was pretty cool, right? Yeah. He's like, man, that sounds cool, man. That's. Yeah, I think it helped also yeah. that the people came by. And like, yeah, Stacks Army. Well, Stacks Army. Some yeah. general contractors. You know a general contractor is going to know Stacks. Good shit. Good to meet Larry. His brother's doing better. That's all we needed to know. He's going to be doing even better once he gets that autographed shirt. Let's go. Let's get this money. Like that. I'm feeling like a bum right now. What's up, yo? I'll let you continue, though. All right, we're done. Yes, sir. Of course. Oh, let's go do legs. Come on. I got the protein. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
That's a rat. Boy's dead. Just came in real quick, guys. Didn't really have a lot of time today. Uh, you know, gotta go get my massage. Definitely gotta can take your body work into consideration. Yes, I hit legs, I kill quads. I'll remember to come back this week and do it again. But I also gotta take care of my body by going and getting these deep tissue massages, separating the uh, the bone from the muscle. You know, you don't want everything all latched on. It affects the growth of the muscle at the same time, impingements. Your neck could get impinged, your shoulder could get impinged. I ain't ready for all that, you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather take care of my body, come in, get a quick pump, make sure I come back, get legs again. Uh, no excuses, no breaks, man. If you haven't yet, go check out the stacksarmy.com, the website, and uh, cop some of that Stacks Army merch, baby. You got the subs coming soon. They're already out for pre-sale. So if you haven't yet, go copy some of that Stacks Let's Go pre-workout or that What's Up Baby Aminos and uh, you know, show some love. And they also have an option on there, guys, for the Stacks box. You go get the pre, get the aminos, all in a box with a bunch of gifts, signed autograph picture from your boy, uh, just a bunch of stuff that a lot of other people ain't gonna have and I'm not gonna put on my website. So go cop that Stacks box, guys. Make sure you rocking that Stacks merch, because you ain't part of that Stacks army unless you rocking that Stacks merch. Let's go.